Now you talk about, you know, the 97, 98, uh, the rise of the dot coms, you're obviously fairly savvy at seeing opportunities. You guys decide to, to do this sale, to do this exit in 99. What was driving that? Was it, was it time you were, you're bored, you wanted to try the dot com thing, you just, it was good money? What, what was driving your decision to get out? Yeah, uh, I mean, so it, it was the third uh, company that tried to buy us. So, you know, I've talked about this story a lot, but we, we all three of those we viewed as practice for someday. Um, you just never know when the, the numbers were going to get interesting enough that, you know, it's sort of hard to say no. So it was a combination of two things. One, the, the acquirer, which was Zoll, uh, which is a public company based in Boston. It's a medical device manufacturer. Um, you know, they, they ended up putting numbers out that were tough to say no to. At the same time, that company pitched us on their future. And they, they had an innovation in their technology that they thought would really have the stock take off. So, you know, a big part of business is luck. And, you know, timing, take advantage of opportunities. Uh, that company's stock, when they bought us, was worth you know, somewhere around 4 or $5 a share. And within a year or two, it was worth $37. I remember that clearly. So a lot of the value of our exit was timing who we're going to sell it to. Uh, in fact, it was, it was more of the value of the exit than what we had actually built up to that point. So you know, call that bad luck or call that picking your acquirer. Um, that was the combination that had us say, wow, we really believe in where this company's going and want to be a part of it. 